Yo, what's up? We are here in Tunisia. Yes, it's time for this, I would say, underrated campaign because many people think it's just only bad, but no, the truth is it has two of the best maps in the game. One is Alja Bar Farm and the second one is this here, Oasis. And I'm playing here my trusty British people. And let's see how they're gonna do. And to make it even more spicy, I'm playing against one good and really good and, and well, seasoned Tunisia Axis player. Well, he's max level, obviously. So, yeah, I'm playing here British and we're on the attack. This first objective is really cool. Not only does it look absolutely amazing, it's basically a really nice desert with part with some oasis parts and these primitive but extremely charming and nice looking little huts. Yeah, it's the Fire Lord, obviously, and he's already pounding us. Yeah, first thing here is I'm going to build a rally. The good thing, this objective gives you the ability to build very close rallies. You can see 38 meters, but it also is extremely open and it's very hard to attack. So this is the balance, by the way, very good map design. As an attacker, it's hard to cap because there, there can be defenders in everywhere, basically these four buildings. But we can build close rallies. So as long as we build lots of close rallies, we can we can balance it out and even possibly get an advantage. All right, we already got eliminated very very effectively. But the best what I like to do here is I'm just gonna spam sandbags so they can't flame throw us, they can't grenade us, and I also have a nice position to snipe behind. And since we are the British. We have those beautiful, sexy 10 round bolt action rifles. Now let's test them. Okay, first one. Oh, Fire Lord, hello, what's up? Come on, boy, let's go. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a horrible aim. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, first game, bad aim. Happens. Happens. Okay, now guess what? Did you see this explosion? Yeah. Uh, it's a friendly explosion. Good. Even if it wasn't a friendly explosion, we would have survived thanks to the sandbag. And this is what happens when we don't have a sandbag going on here. Okay. Yeah, now I'm warm, literally. Uh, my reflexes were very bad so far. I didn't shoot properly and I didn't drop my grenades fast enough. Yeah, okay, let's go. And fi I guess I missed the artillery strike in the beginning. Yeah, okay. As everyone knows, possibly, I absolutely dislike the Thompsons, unless they have 50 rounds. Now, I'm still mid-level, so I don't have access to the very fast ones. But it's good, because usually I play max-level armies. Here I have a not max-level army, and it's literally, like, mostly bolt-action dominated. Yeah, though we have this beautiful 10-round sniper rifle. Which is the best bolt action sniper rifle in the game. And overall one of the best ones. Since 10 bolt action sniper bullets that can literally one shot around the whole map is just amazing. Okay. This first objective is preferably taken by fast rushing in the beginning. If a situation... Oh my god. <laughs> two deaths, only five kills. If a situation like this comes up where they just completely block us and we don't even get a little bit of of progress then we're in a bad shape now what what's gonna save us i think is the tank because well they're hiding in these buildings but that's not a problem that a bunch of high explosives wouldn't solve okay beautiful they got those italian war buggies basically a puma and yeah, let's blow it up. Basically a Puma, but worse, because it's Italian. And as everyone knows, Ital Italy in World War II, uh, <laughs> not the best performing army ever. So, that's not, that's not the army that defeated Hannibal eventually, that's just, uh, yeah, more of a joke army. Especially in Enlisted, because the Italians didn't even receive the some the really good stuff that they sometimes said they just received the mostly medium stuff okay and we, and we already like tripled our kills from before simply by high explosive spamming good thing is here i can just i can just snipe around the map and eventually they're going to be forced to take out tanks and planes and m this means there will be less defenders 
Also, it's just a matter of time. If the defense is so strong, I plan in on another tank. I plan in a oh, HMG. I plan in around three minutes until the effect of the Svalkal completely takes over. Like the primary effect is obviously killing all of them, but the secondary is weakening their defenses by forcing them to start vehicle noobing or do strange movements like running outside, rushing, trying to kill me, which just shakes up the de defense. Okay, um, yeah. Oh, we quadrupled our kills. Wonderful. Yeah, the thing is, Fire Lord knows the map extremely well, obviously, and he plays very well, and he's got a very strong army, so we can't expect them to noob around too much because he's just gonna carry the team on his own if necessary. So we need to do some really tight plays. Oh yeah. Yeah. I saw two more. <laughs> I know you're there. Come on. Ah? Well, maybe they're left from to the other side. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Nothing in there. Now we just need some more mass because... Yeah. Because we, we got rid of so many of those Italians. Yeah, come on. You see, this is what I meant with forcing them to, to start doing stupid things like not killing the infantry they try to capture, but just paying attention to me, which won't result in any advantages for them, <laughs> only in getting shot. Okay, but there's still, they have too many rallies, I think. We didn't have, we don't have enough rallies because yeah, we only have one rally that I built, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm killing so many of them, but we're still not capping. Now we just started capping, finally. Okay, and my tank doesn't feel that healthy anymore. All right, where are those Italians? Oh my god, something's, something's big shooting me. Something very big is shooting me. Thing is, I don't even know the Italian weapons that well, because I... I played this campaign basically only to... I played it for two months by putting all my boosters into 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 the British. So... I don't have perfect knowledge. Oh my god, that's too much. That's too much spaghetti. As Eminem would say. Yeah, come on. I need a good... I need a good high explosive. I, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> No, oh, this dude doesn't know how to throw grenades properly, lucky for us, and we're not gonna die. Oh, was it Fire Lord who just missed through the grenade? Okay, unexpected. Now, this is, by the way, another good thing, as long as he's just trying to kill me and not the others, which he would definitely succeed in, it's good. Oh, this, the, this is, oh yeah, <laughs> this is a good sign. Not only did we get like 200 lives or so, they also, they don't spam two high-level tanks. They have high-level infantry, but not two high-level tanks. So we can, yeah, we can start moving forward. Yeah, by the way, my my tank here is also minimum level. I just barely got him and only have three crew members. Okay, time for the bullfighter. Time for the bullfighter dropping, oh, in the first place already, nice. Next objective is, is, yeah, we need to motivate the team. <laughs> we need to motivate that team because they pushed us way too far, way too far behind in terms of kills. All right, this objective is open and let's, I can't, oh yeah, come on, this is lots of Italians, yes. By the way, I really suck with this plane because I constantly blow up my plane with those rockets. Because in order to hit, you have to fly low, and if you fly low, those rockets just explode under you and harm your damage vehicle, so, yeah. but whatever. 14 kills is definitely okay. If our team fast rushed, we already would have started capping. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not worth, like, it's literally... The main resource we have is, like, the, the goal of the resource of, ti of tickets is to capture and we don't make we won't make any progress if I just keep running around with one useless soldier so it's definitely reasonable to to remove him to get a new squad all right as I saw from the points they have one very good player and the rest is just much worse than him 
So we have the more balanced team, which is great. Yeah, this is the fancy event bezel MG. I'm mostly playing it for fun because it's not that good. <laughs> like the, the this the, oh my engine actually survived. He just got down. Beautiful. This objective, by the way, can be a mix of easy and hard to take. Why the swag statement? Well, if you have lots of rallies, especially on the left side, it's going to be easy. If you only have a rally here, it's going to be very hard because they can, they can just shell us with grenade launchers and other things and tanks. So I hope my team starts building rallies finally. Though, their best countermeasure against us is to attack from the central line. So as long as we have a machine gun here, we can just control the central line. Oh, another war buggy. Hello, Italians. Yeah. Yeah, this war buggy for some... Oh, okay. We didn't get kills, but we basically blew up this thing already. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that's why it's really important to have this 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 tank window on the top right to know that there's any progress and penetration going on. Yeah, my squads are on the. I have two squads that are actually full power, and the other squads are still squads that are used for grinding. And so far. Uh, it's going to be some work. Oh yeah, yeah, now we need to attack. Whenever you see, so your team just killed lots of defenders on the objective, you just instantly want to rush to profit from the, to profit from the, like, 20 seconds where you usually have a easy capping window. Yeah, you see, this is, this objective, oh my god. Oh my god, someone likes this barbed wire. Motherfucker. What a motherfucker. Yeah, we need grenades for that. Oh my god. Ah, it's him. Ah, no wonder I'm getting schlonged. Damn it. Yeah. Mm, I need a damn grenade inside there. Yeah, that was stupid. I should just have to... Yeah. Yeah? Okay, this tank is schlonging us hard. He, he, he's, he spent like one minute going up on the hill. Which is a huge investment, but... Now he can just easily blow us up, and we can't do anything against him. So, as long as he's alive, we can't cap. Basically not, he can just shell the objective with explosives. Time to blow him up. Theoretically, if our team plays smart and just goes to the other side, builds sandbags, it's, we can ignore him, but I know players usually don't do that. They just monkey rush. Oh, nice. Okay, so, oh yeah, more Italians, come on. 10 Italians less. Wonderful. Oh, Firelord! Hello, mister! His whole rifleman squad got deleted. Yeah, with him out of the picture... Oh, yeah. By the way, <laughs> remember my absolute noob stats from the beginning? Yeah. That's why the only stats that matter are the stats in the end. After the game is completed, not some in-between stats. That's just incomplete data. And this time I even got lucky and survived. Yeah, beautiful. Time for the next rocket launch. <laughs> and we started capping. Yeah, as far as it seems, the main obstacle for our advance is the Fire Lord defense. Oh no. Yeah, the Italian fighters, by the way, are quite strong as far as I know. So I'd rather not mess with them. Looks like this is gonna be my pilot's last flight. <laughs> I don't see anyone. Ah, I see a little bit of dudes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. By the way, I also haven't really upgraded this plane. Because I'd rather wait for the next planes. Uh, at least I'd rather wait for the last plane. And since upgrading vehicles is actually really expensive, I won't really waste... Oh god, I'm getting shot again. Yep. Yeah, it's okay. Couldn't... Uh... Also, I, need, I actually need experience, since I'm still grinding, and the grind is painfully slow on the last levels. Wanted to get that easy experience from the bomber raid. Okay, yeah. My, my, my vehicles aren't really upgraded, but they're still strong. They're still strong, and I still can do some work. Uh, yeah. If it's... The fun thing is, I don't even need to load another ammunition. Since, like, 90% it's a war buggy again. They only had war buggies. Yeah, come on. Come on, war buggy. Oh, my God. 
Come on, Wobbuggy, where are you? Yes, yeah. Yeah. He had a really smart position, by the way. Really good position. But, they, yeah. <laughs> Very good against infantry, but obviously bad against tanks. Okay. Now comes my favorite, one of my favorite, I, I like the whole map a lot, but this is one of my favorite parts, it's like an old ruin from, I guess, Carthage, or the Phoenicians, or whoever, well, I guess, yeah, I guess they were in Tunisia, so, so yeah, very beautiful, and this objective is actually really nice, you can use tanks at, a, at like almost maximum power, and you can play, use planes at very high power, but you can also use infantry. Like, this architecture is perfect for gameplay. Alright, now... Okay. Yeah, come on. Come on, Italians. Come on, Italians. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Lots of Italians, and I'm too stupid to aim. Come on, now, please. Oh my god. Yeah, a bit better next time. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> like, the, the Chopinel effect doesn't really come up. I, I I could, yeah, I can move, but I need, yeah, I'm exposing myself, but yeah, I actually hope for like 10 kill shot, but... <laughs> this is the worst tank aim ever, by the way. Oh, this soldier just had maximum luck. He was actually already dead, but then this war buggy just came up. Alright. In case someone of my team uses planes, we need to get rid of the center air gun. Yeah, this, I don't know what's going on. I fi by the way, I know what's going on now. It's the hitboxes of those, of those pillars. Like, my placement, my cursor placement was actually very good, but the hitboxes just fucked up the explosion. Okay, now time for a nice rally and artillery strike. We gonna we gonna need as many lives as possible because the last objectives can be really hard, especially the next one. The next one is actually one of the hardest in this map, since it's very open. But unlike the the first objective that is also open but gives us enough ways to build rallies, the next objective doesn't. So yeah, okay, war buggy, time to. Look how perfectly he parked him. <laughs> yeah, look how perfectly he parked him, but uh, this won't help. I think I saw a soldier on the left, but he didn't see us, so we can ignore him. Okay. Come on, let's see. I need more Italians. Oh my god, that was a stupid throw. Yeah, here are the Italians. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> That aim day returns. Mm, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna keep up the pressure with grenade launchers. Yeah, gonna keep up. Yeah, whenever you have bad aim, they just use weapons that don't require as much perfect aim. Obviously, the gentleman's weapon, the grenade launcher. <laughs> Everyone's favorite weapon to get hit to get hit by. Yeah, and you can basically shoot around wall since I just shot to the side and oh yeah come on nice this by the way my favorite grenade launcher in the game because there's 10 bolt action bullets the sides are bad but still it's worth it it's definitely worth the work looks like no Italians left come on nice only one Italian left okay where is he somewhere here guess behind the wall okay okay yeah look how beautiful this is this map is absolutely amazing Absolutely amazing. Yeah, oh, they're decimating me. Damn it. Oh, those bombs took away a big chunk of my squad. But that's why we play rifleman squads, to always have still some soldiers left. Even if four soldiers die and, and three more, doesn't matter, we still have two. Yeah. Yeah, this is the difference between rifleman squads and other squads. They killed seven of us, but we still kept. Oh, oh, now, oh my god, now the Italians are coming. Yeah, that's time Time for a good grenade. Time for a good grenade. And, ah, not a good grenade. Okay. 
Possibly time for artillery striking in like one or two minutes. Oh, in 10 seconds. Ah, bad ah, much better than expected. Okay. Yeah, this next objective absolutely requires artillery strikes and plane bombings because otherwise it's impossible to get rid of those defenders. Since we saw so many Italians rushing, we just need to get rid of those first, otherwise it's just gonna shoot us in the back. Well, theoretically, what would be perfect is me and a teammate pushing to the new objective and letting the defenders live here so they can't spawn and defend the actual objective, but my team doesn't really have coordination. Yeah, well, I'm in a Discord server, but against uh, someone, not with people, which, by the way, is more fun, obviously. If you want some really good challenging games, play against some good player. Much more fun than playing with someone, because with someone usually leads to easy wins, which gets very boring very quickly. But playing against good players, this is where the fun begins. Okay, very nice. Now let's see what this artillery strike is going to grant us. I hope for 15 kills, because it's actually possible. Alright. I take 4 kills too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, this looked like a rally point, but it was a waste, damn it. Oh my god, yeah, bad aim day is real today. Just ignore it, just ignore it. Yeah, this revival, by the way, also not upgraded, so... Ah, yeah, so this Persian is quite high. At least we don't need the additional damage, since it already has ridiculously high damage. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. And you see, this objective is a pure grind fest. If they play very well and we play badly, they can just grind us down to zero. Which, obviously, I want to prevent. <laughs> Absolutely want to prevent this. Let's go. And sadly I can't take a plane, because a plane would be actually amazing here. Especially just bombing their greys. Oh yeah, look at this. A bow fighter would just get 10 to 20 kills around this. Oh yeah, come on. Yeah, they're coming from the natural spawn area on top of the hill. And, oh, our aim has returned. Our aim has returned, come on, yes, wonderful. And nope, no machine gun for you. If we had more time, I would just place an interpersonal mine there. But A, I don't think I have interpersonal mines on the soldiers. And B, it just would cost too much time. And it's better to get to play the safe play when under pressure. This, by the way, the reason why I almost always just drop all of the bombs that I have when I'm in a plane, because... If, if something happens, if I get shot down, if like against weak players, it doesn't matter if you play it safe by unloading everything or if you try to optimize the damage. But against strong enemy teams, you can't expect to survive for too long in a plane, so I try to just drop the maximum amount. Okay, first problem solved and okay, uh, too far away. I ah, know, too close. Couldn't uh, turn around properly. Now... Uh, yeah, it should... Oh my... Damn it! What a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I released those rockets to get an extremely lucky one in a million random rocket kill while being downed, but nope. Alright. Yeah, this dude possibly saved them like 10, 20 lives. They have infinite anyway. Well, at least... At least limited by the amount of rallies they have. <sighs> yeah. This, yeah, you see, we already lost 200 lives on this objective and we didn't have any progress accomplished. So, the tank needs to save it. Tank needs to save it. And this plane should have saved me, by the way, this fighter plane. But yeah, like these, these Italian stallion fighter planes are a menace. Nice, let's go. Yeah, uh, this team needs to be reminded. <laughs> Without lots of rallies, this objective is gonna be the end for us.
Okay. Let's see. Yeah, the sandstorm is real. Everything's yellow. I can't see that much. But... As long as I don't have rallies, uh, rallies in the jungle area, I can just shoot up there on the hill. Yes, this is where they're coming from. And more people to the right. Stay there, please. Yes, one there. Oh, Fire Lord. You're back. Okay. Fire Lord's back. Very reliable. Yeah, and we lo and they lost the rally point. Very likely. So... Yeah, you see, you just, yeah. <laughs> they killed 300 of us, and it's fair. We only got like 50 lives, it's very fair. Since we still have 700, uh, 600. Okay, they're still gonna push, so we need to decimate them before pushing forward. This last objective can also be very challenging. If they, if they fortify it well, it's gonna be pure hell to attack, because it's, it's this giant ho uh, big house with a small outside area. Oh, another Italian war buggy. Let's go, mister. Here. Yes, and another tank. Come on. You see, this team is is good at marking vehicles. This is amazing. Very few teams. Like, I don't know how many vehicle kills I already have, but uh, basically all, always it was a marked tank. Almost always it was a marked vehicle. Very good teamwork. Even though not too many rallies, but still amazing. Yeah. Yeah, these, those Italians are afraid of our planes. <laughs> I think this is the third anti-air gun I see this game. Okay. Oh, we only lost 10 lives and we, we only lost basically one squad. Respawn and we decimated like 50 of them. This is a good rate. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. I, wa I don't want to risk my tank being attack because losing one crew member already makes it almost impossible to use since I as I said already only have three members instead of the five that are required and I definitely want to make sure I can get some shots inside the objective uh, come on oh yeah this is oh yeah ammo box destroyed nice come on one more yes and some yeah I need to get closer to start shelling them because they're more to the left they're more to the left all right no one upstairs anymore I need to shoot deep inside of the house to make sure no one's hiding anywhere yeah come on come on show me lots of Italians please oh yeah oh yes hello Italians <laughs> hello Italians oh yeah oh yeah I'm stupid very bad aim, tank shaking, come on, yes, yeah, you see how far left the high explosive works, beautiful, amazing, yeah, now my team just needs to rush, since I won't leave my tank, I try, oh, yeah, my team isn't rushing, I'd rather just stay in the tank, tank noobing, and distracting the enemies, but capping ourselves is also fun. So let's go. Mm, they must be upstairs. Yeah, that's 10 though. Oh, yeah, tight shorts must be Italian. Absolutely. But, like both armies wear shorts, but the Italians wear the tighter and shorter ones. That's how I identify everyone here in this campaign. Uh, this majority qu changed quickly. Yeah, I haven't built a rally yet, and I think my team also hasn't, so... Okay. We already lost... Uh, 200... Li oh, we lost like 100 lives very quickly, I didn't even notice. So... Yeah, it's rally time and it's a strike time. <laughs> yeah, they're giving us a great fight. They're giving us a great fight. Despite us killing, I don't know, 50, uh, despite me killing like 20, 30 of them, and my team killing even more, they still just completely stopped our advance. That's, that's, this is why, this by the way, what good players do. No matter how it looks like, they still perform well and do what's required to win. And 
Yeah, Fire Lord stopping us. Very well. Okay, more burning things. I guess that's the Italian war buggy that that we blew up three minutes, four minutes ago. Okay, ah, uh, there's another war buggy. By the way, these war buggies are basically aim practice for our tank, but played well, the, as this dude does, he just flanks us and perfectly positions himself to make it impossible to get on the objective. Yeah, the war buggy just kills us long range, the flamethrowers kill us short range, and yeah, and the scent is burning. I'd rather not step on it. By the way, what's really fucking beautiful in Tunisia, whenever something explodes, you see this dark earth, and the contrast to the yellow pale sand is really beautiful. Very nice. Okay, war buggy, where are you? I guess that's him. Uh, he got, I guess he got a bomb dropped on him. <laughs> that looks really fun. That's a very picturesque sight. You see this war buggy and he's just tilted to the side into the crater that was created personally for him. Very nice. Oh, come on, we found some Italians. Okay, yeah, this, this machine gun, I underrated it by a lot, but now I know how damn strong it is. Even only two, even despite having 20 bullets, it, it just has a ridiculously low recoil, so you can actually spray and run around. I like it a lot. It's it's the only machine gun with less than 50 rounds that I absolutely like and also think consider very good. Absolutely amazing machine gun. Yeah, what's going on? Oh my god, <laughs> they already killed like 500, like they lost 500. Okay, uh, we need to increase the pressure <laughs> because... Because by, at this rate we're gonna bleed out. Come on, oh, that's not an Italian, that's a... Um, oh, this dude in this in his damn corner. Uh, uh, yeah, my screen's shaking. I can't really read. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's throw a grenade. This dude is just a pain in the behind, by a big margin. So get out of there, bitch. Yeah, he's injured. Uh, okay, I don't know what's. Oh, look at those Italians. We need more grenades. Come on. Come on, yeah, one, two, three, four, and four kills, and a bunch of injured dudes. Oh yeah, Molotov time, come on, best time. Molotov time, come on, how many Molotov kills? How many? No Molotov kill. <laughs> okay, you can't imagine how much I would like to take the bullfighter and just rocket those dudes, but it's too risky. It's gonna take a lot of time, and if they repel this attack, all of the momentum's gonna be lost. And the, it, it won't matter the, all the kills I can do with the bullfighter, so I just rather take infantry and keep up the pressure. This is literally how I lost some very close games, so I know, out of experience, to not fuck it up now. That's also beautiful how... Oh yeah, we got it. Yeah. Even getting some kills increased the pressure hard enough that we actually managed to pull it off. Beautiful. Yeah. Congrats to the enemy team because they they uh, they fought extremely well, especially in the end. Oh yeah, an 87 engineer point shed. That's amazing. That's very well played. There you see, we had the the more balanced team. Like we had two 10,000 K player, uh, 10 K players. They had one, and the rest wasn't that good. He had two ready point builders. And we had also, here too, we also had two, yeah, well, possibly a third, I'm not sure though, but yeah, that was a great game. That's not really, that's not really not much to say, that's just, that was just an amazing game, and as usual for Tunisia, very beautiful, and knowing the map, by the way, is extremely recommended. What I recommend, by the way, if you want to have fun in Tunisia, this is exactly what I do, I only play Oasis, Jabal Farm, and Gorge. Anything else, I instantly leave. And if you only play the fun maps, and Gorge is also borderline, the first two maps are absolutely high tier. I would rate them S tier, absolutely high level map. Gorge is okay. It's very beautiful, but it's very imbalanced for attackers, so the games are too one-sided very often, but okay. But the first two maps, Al Jabbar and Oasis, absolutely amazing, very beautiful, very fun to play, very balanced. And just, yeah, my recommendation is just play the maps you like. 
instantly desert all the other maps and just literally only play the maps you like. This way Tunisia can be a pure delight to play and I recommend everyone to try it out. Uh, Tunisia very underrated, these two maps very unique, not only optically but also regarding game style. So yeah, that was a great game, let me know what you think and until next time, goodbye.